Big changes for Christina Pascucci. She's left the anchor desk and is expecting her first child and now is running for <laughs> Senate. Oh my goodness, she joins us now from Los Angeles. Good morning to you, Christina. Good morning, good to see you both. Oh my God, okay, well, I know we have important things to discuss, but first I'd like to say congratulations. Oh my goodness, how far along are you? Thank you. I'm almost five months. And when you said all those things in the intro, it kind of <laughs> was very surreal. I had to stop and be like, wait, what? Okay. What am I doing? But yeah, I mean, she's really the impetus for why I'm running. So mm. uh, I want to talk about that as your motivation. I have, you know, I have four children. And when I started having kids, I kind of wanted to sit back and not do a lot of things. And you decided you're going to do the opposite. You wanted to step into a lot of things. Why? Yeah, well, I was in the trenches reporting for 15 years, as you know, and at the anchor desk. And when I looked around at the California I saw, I increasingly did not recognize the California that raised me. And then when I was pregnant, I had this fire ignited within me that I had to do something. I could not accept the reality that I saw for her future. And so that's why I decided to step in. And how has working, you, you said, obviously, you've been a journalist for about 15 years in the L.A. area. Um, how do you think, what does that bring to the table? So much. I mean, you guys know firsthand, we, we've interviewed countless people. I've been across the state. I've also traveled to more than 100 countries across seven continents, telling the world's untold stories, interviewing world leaders, going to war zones and conflict areas. And I've seen firsthand the unfoldment of so many of these issues. And there have been countless times where I'm just thinking, gosh, there's so much more that can be done. And in many cases, seemingly simple solutions and no one's tackling them. And it became frustrating as the years went by. And so this is going to be, this is my attempt to actually step in and fix the problems that I see. You talk about those frustrations. You talk to a lot of Californians and they say, you know, there's a lot that needs to be fixed uh, in the state. It seems like the problems almost uh, overshadow. We have the most beautiful beaches. We live in these beautiful mm. communities, but it could be overwhelming. So when you have your little notepad and you're making a list of what I want to do to California, what would be the top three things right off of your list? Well, I just want to start by saying I love this state so much. I still think it's one of the best places in the world. But yes, we are falling way short of our potential. So a few things and something that's very personal for me is, is mental health and homelessness. I have a family member who struggled with mental health and addiction. I saw it firsthand as a young girl. And it really inspired me actually to get into journalism because I saw good people do bad things. And, and what is it that leads people to that path? where you see that they're just struggling so much. And I believe early intervention is a key component of that. So those are very important. Also, family support. As a mother-to-be, I was shocked to find out that I wouldn't have full maternity leave. So many women I know find themselves suffering or, or facing that same problem. And it's really unacceptable that a mother would have to choose between providing for her family or bonding with her child. And if we're not supporting our kids from the time they come into the world, how can we expect to live in a thriving society? And then another topic that I care deeply about that I think a lot of Democrats won't talk about is addressing the crisis at the border. It is so important that we tackle this head on, um, both for national security and the humanitarian crisis that's unfolding before our eyes. I read in an article that you said that you would fly to Texas to speak with Governor Abbott yourself if you became a senator. And, and, and what, what would that purpose be for? Yeah, well, I think such a big part of the demise of our state and our country and, and how our democracy has been threatened like never before, in my opinion, is the lack of bipartisanship. It is so important to reach across the aisle, to reach out to those we disagree with, and have a conversation to find common solutions for the American people. I mean, to me, it's just common sense. But so often now, you see one side pointing the finger at the other, not getting anything done. You see what's happening in the House right now. It's a complete disaster, Is we have no leadership. And while that's happening, you have this crisis unfolding in the Middle East. We need leadership more than ever. We don't have time to have this disaster in the House and then also to have this senator who's preventing the promotion of military members. I mean, it's that's a national security crisis as well. 
Christina, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm sure that uh, many people, when you when they find out that you're expecting, and this is what people could be thinking, this is a pretty big big job, and you're talking about a lot of the challenges that women face with the lack of maternity leave, uh, you know, to bond with their child. If when you have a baby and then you want to take on such a big role, what would you tell those people? Who would say that it's a lot. Yeah, working mothers do it every day. And I believe if you want to get something done, you give it to a mom. That is, uh, that's where I'm at with that. I mean, I've never had or felt so much conviction in anything in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting for her future. There is nothing more important. And I hope that when she's old enough to understand that crazy thing that her mother did, mm -hmm. she will look mm -hmm. back at this moment in time and feel proud of her mom. No, well, maybe it's not so crazy, Christina. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. not so crazy. Congratulations yes. on on the baby. The best best days of your life are, are headed your way, and and good luck on this new Absolutely. journey you're on. Thank you. Send mom tips, please. Yeah. Oh, I got I got plenty. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> Thanks, Christina. Thank you so much.